Hey everyone. So today I decided to make a nice, long, not well thought out video about For Honor. It happens to be quite the talk of the For Honor YouTube town, so why not join in and put my input in while making some views? I know I will miss things, so don't penalize me for missing your favorite complaint of Peacekeeper being overpowered and ruining the game. So anyway, let's move on to the list. So I've happened to see a lot of videos pop up titled something along the lines of For Honor is dying. For Honor is dying and you might be the reason why. Will For Honor make it to season 3? For Honor is the best game of all time 100% no complaints. No I'm just kidding let's not be silly. But I watched these videos and maybe waited an hour or two before making this video because I can't honestly stand some of the stupid things people say. If you guys don't know, stupidity is probably one of my biggest pet peeves, and yes it does trigger me more than telling a feminist woman's rights mean as much as turtle rights. But anyway, let me just start my list of complaints for this game and what has caused it to die or decline in its popularity. If you guys stick to playing 1v1s and 2v2s like myself, then you probably don't have as much experience with this, but for those who spend their life on 4v4 game modes know this like their own house. And what would this mysterious thing that 4v4 noobs know about? The beloved connection issues. This is 100% For Honor's main problem besides the other main problem which is obviously Peacekeeper's light attacks. So back in my early development stages of becoming a For Honor weeb, 4v4s were my go-to game mode because of how much fun I had on them. Disconnecting, player sync, one player leaving and lagging out a whole entire lobby. This was and still is something that occurred almost every single time I played and it needs to be fixed. So if it is possible to take away this peer-to-peer -peer connection bullshit in the middle of this game's lifetime, then please do, cause me and the For Honor community have had enough of it. Problem number two, the matchmaking. The game has no skill-based matchmaking, which most likely turns people away once they get the game. How could someone have fun on the game when they first get it, when they get put against sweaty nerds like myself in their first couple of matches? It's not fun and it never will be fun. It's still annoying even for me and I've been playing the game since it came out. Problem number three, movesets. What could I possibly mean by the movesets? What I mean is the movesets have nothing to offer at all and that causes pretty much no combos for any characters, or at least a majority of them. Let's take Warden for example, what else does he have to offer other than his shoulder fuck mixups? Exactly my point, some characters have nothing else to do other than repeat the same stuff over and over again, although there are some characters you can mix up a lot with. Valkyrie is a great example, she is probably one of my favorite characters in the game because she has a shit ton to offer, maybe not in her movesets but the mixups with her are literally incredible. Her mind games are endless and that's probably one of my favorite if not my favorite characters to go up against if they are good cause it just gives me a huge challenge. On the other hand of my comparison, Warden does not have anything to offer, he has a shoulder bash and cancelling into guard break. You can say the crushing counter strike, but I'm personally not going to sit there waiting for a top attack like a child at their bus stop. Problem number 4, the lack of bug fixes. There are some serious bugs in this game that don't get patched quick enough and or at all. For example, there has never been a bug fix for not being able to tech out of a guard break when dodging. This can be very annoying because it makes things like the Warden Vortex annoying and extremely hard to get out of unless you have a fast light attack to hit him during the charge that he has or you have a dodging counter attack like the Assassins. This causes people to say Warden is broken even though a simple bug fix to not being able to tech out of a guard break when dodging would pretty much just solve it all. Another example is the Warden one hit glitch of Doom that I honestly don't even know if it's patched yet since I didn't keep up with it. The last I heard is that anyone who didn't and was reported for it would be banned which I guess is in a way patching it if it isn't patched still but there are people who just don't care and will do it anyway. You can also correct me if it is patched in my comments. Last but not least for problem number 5 would honestly just be the player base and the community. The player base is just extremely toxic and just like childish at a ridiculous amount. Just yesterday, I had someone spam me with messages saying I'm a pussy because I walked away from a fight for the reason that I wasn't going to sit there and just have a fucking staring contest with them and wait for someone to get parried and then get fucked up. I understand everyone, including me, gets irritated with video games, but it becomes something else when you're crying and you go to fucking like a For Honor Reddit and you're like, this character's OP, Ubisoft fucked you, fuck you, like, it's just stupid things like that. If you get beat by a certain character, it doesn't mean that the character is OP, it's either A, you fucking suck, or just haven't played against that character enough. 
I personally have problems with Nabushi because I never play against them and never know what to expect from them. On the other hand, there are people who play Peacekeeper who I find extremely easy to beat, probably because that's my main and I've played her since the beta. So what I'm saying is, I pretty much know that character inside and out. So that's really all I had to say. I know I missed a lot of things probably, but those were the things that just stood out to me, so leave things I missed out in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and it's been your favorite cat in the top hat. I'm out. Okay, I'm never doing an outro like that again.